Hello everyone, this is Endgame Arts with another box, another offline product game review. This is Advanced Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp for the Nintendo Switch. The jump right into it, this physical copy here is just a base vanilla version of the game, so the on cartridge version is 1.0. And at time making this video, there were no updates available. Now, I did play a mass majority of this game completely offline, and I didn't have any problems or issues throughout my experience. Now, that does with the offline experience of the game. I did have a few minor hiccups. I did have the game crash once on me, and this was very odd at moment in the game. I don't know if it's just because I had the game in rest mode for such a long time, and it just randomly crashed. That could have just been it. But I did have a few times an audio bug, where the game's audio would completely cut out, where there was no sound, no music, no sound effects or anything. But when I did an attack, or did a special power, or anything like that, the music or sound effects for that would play, and then once it was over, the audio would just completely cut out again. It didn't fix itself unless I uh, quit it out of the game and rebooted it or beat the level and just restarted get back to the main menu of the game. This happened about three or four times throughout my entire experience of the game. And that was maybe the biggest one. The other one could be, it's not really maybe a bug, is that AI isn't really the greatest. There are, there are times that they are challenging, but other times they can be pretty obvious to how they are their mechanics, how they work, and how brain dead they can be at certain strategic moments and how to utilize their how they think and how they prioritize and their actions. And it was really disappointing to see how much you could take advantage of computer in this area. But I want to immediately point out, this was the first time I've ever played Advanced Wars. I never played the handheld. I've talked about this multiple times. I can't play handhelds. I cannot look at little screens for a very long time as it hurts my eyes. This does include like my smartphone or anything like that. Name PSP, Game Boy Advance, you name it, even my Switch. I do not play it in handheld mode just because I cannot look at that screen for a very long time. So this was very excited for me to sit down and play Advanced Wars for the very first time and I heard many good things about it because it was a very strategic war game of its time and well my experience can be summarized as a good disappointment the game is actually really fun and I don't deny it when I first got this game and I immediately popped it in I immediately created a level and played with my brother that was immediately the first thing we did and when we first played our first level we immediately noticed problems with the game and we immediately started pointing them out and deciding how we would fix these issues issues and I don't want to be mean to the game because the game is actually pretty fun it's just that there is some balancing issues between units as well as like airships and sh uh, boats and stuff like that as well as your CO your commanding officer a special power some of the CO's uh, powers are extremely broken either their power or their passive ability and do keep in mind this does come with advanced wars one and two on one cartridge and they're not treated as like one they're kind of like separate categories and you have to switch it on and off which one you're going to be playing as and your uh, experience and well the problem is is that certain abilities and functions and stuff like that are clearly just unbalanced and has some massive issues throughout the game and I would love to go in massive details and just try to explain and how I would have fixed some of these issues but I merely just want to go in is why it's a good disappointment is that this is a remake and the fact that they didn't really fix any of these issues because I did actually look up a lot of this because I was trying to figure out the issues and if maybe this remake of Advanced Wars was just completely broken in terms of mechanic wise of the CEOs and buying units and all this other stuff and no it's pretty close to the original from what I can gather and that is extremely disappointing because that would mean that they didn't do anything to fix some of the issues that the original game had which the original game makes sense the first time of its time not many people probably played Advanced Wars they probably didn't put a lot of budget and time into it thinking that no one would play it and then it exploded and a lot more people enjoyed it well this is a remake this was an opportunity to fix these issues from the past they didn't. So that is a huge blow to the game. And as well as that, I mean, the campaign mode isn't that interesting. It did a lot of things that really annoyed me where computers started at getting like certain buffs and abilities that you, the player, cannot have. Like at near the ending in the second campaign, the computers started having like a special base that can produce units, like three units at a time, and they immediately get their turn. See, that kind of stuff really annoys me. And that's why I say I played play the mass majority of the game because it got to the point where I was no longer 
having fun with the campaign. And disappointingly, you cannot uh, play with everything. You have to play through the campaign to unlock stuff and COs and other levels and stuff. And I just, I couldn't do it anymore. The campaign wasn't good enough and it did a lot of stuff that was annoying me and I was no longer having fun with the game. It was only when I was playing custom made maps and I was just playing with my brother and or computer and turning off powers. Where every person, CO and character is just as default standard. No one has advantages. It's all about your strategic placement. Then that's when the, the time of the game was having the extreme fun, but it doesn't exclude certain other annoyances, even with the balance of just no abilities. Like, boats are completely useless in this game. They cost too much, and they don't provide that much of benefit. And there's other stuff like airplanes. I mean, they have some uses, but some of them are really expensive, and as well as your airplanes considered as a ground unit, where you can actually block a path with an airplane, even though he's it's an airplane in the air. You, like, I don't mind that you couldn't uh, sit in the same space as an airplane, but enemy units should be able to move through an airplane. A helicopter, maybe you can argue with, but an airplane, it shouldn't be an obstacle for units to pass through, good or bad. As well as that, I mean, there's like this uh, combined units, but if a unit was hurt, which is a cool feature, and I really liked it. The only problem is, is that when you do that, it instantly uses up the turn of the person you're combining with. See, that, 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 that limits strategicness. I wish if you combine it with a unit who hasn't act, that person can still act. That way you could really use an advantages of like being massively powerful and have a full unit do an attack. There's just a lot of things that started really annoying me and my brother when we were playing it. And we started pointing out these flaws and these designs that this game could really use an improvement upon. And I kind of avoid wanting to talk about this, but... um. I am a big fan of sprite graphics. I've mentioned this hundreds of times in my videos. And as well, the, the graphics of this game are not bad. I'm not going to go off and try to say these games' graphics are horrible and it's just unbearable to look at. But when I've looked up the Advance Wars, the original one, and had the sprite graphics of that one, that game looks gorgeous compared to this game. This game looks like something you would see on like a mobile phone or something like that. And it's just it's really disappointing that they went away from the sprite graphics and went with this graphical design. I think this game f compared to the sprite graphics is pretty ugly compared to the sprite graphics. So that's very disappointing. And again, this is a remake and it, to me it seems like a downgrade in graphics. It's just that's why I want to call it a good disappointment because the game is good and there's fun, especially if, like I said, you turn off the powers, you put a more balanced out map, and you don't mess with the campaign because the campaign was really annoying. Not because it was challenging. The computer wasn't hard. I was actually beating the computer on the classic difficulty, and I was mostly getting A ranks and S ranks. It's when they started getting special powers and special buildings that allowed them to break the rules of the game, as well as that when I noticed the computer was just really, really dumb. Like, there was certain strategic moments in the game. The only reason I won was because computer was dumb and moved a unit away. And that cost them the game. I was like, that ruined the fun for me. And both me and my brother really didn't like the powers. We both kind of end up not using them because it just felt cheap. It felt like every time we used one or I won the campaign with the, the CO's power, it didn't feel like I won. It felt like I cheated to win. So it got more and more to the point where I just didn't want to play the campaign because the campaign evolved so much around the powers and the passive abilities. It just, there was a lot of annoyances, but once like even this video you're seeing right now with me playing against computer, this is where I had the most fun with the game. Just randomly made a match, play against computer, and just made a level and just had fun with that. And turning off power and all this other stuff. It just... That's why I kind of can't call it a good disappointment. I definitely can see myself coming back occasionally and popping it in, creating a map, playing against a computer, or me and my brother can have occasionally have a good time going against each other with Noah powers and build-ups and stuff like that. But in the end, again, it's it's my personal taste. I know that a lot of people just wanted this because it's based off nostalgia and it's been such a long time that there hasn't been an Advance Wars. So I know a lot of people are just trying to praise this game to encourage Nintendo to make more of it. And, well, we don't do that kind of stuff here. I mean, we have to point out what the problem is in the game. And there's too many flaws to overlook. This is a remake. They didn't fix any of the issues that the original game has. The graphics has been a massive downgrade compared to the sprite graphics. 
as well as again I had a couple bug issues and problems and it's just they didn't really do much with this and that is it's severely disappointing and I, I, I have to judge it for that and for, for my opinion it is a good disappointment and that is very disappointing because the, I've played my two most hyped games was Advance Wars and Metro Prime Remaster those are my two most hyped games to play on my Switch this pretty much this entire generation and both of them have been disappointing or uh, below average or average at best and that's very that's very disappointing i'm hoping that maybe eventually they'll come up with a nintendo game that really blows me away but this was not it i will come back to this game and i can see some people really having great fun with it especially if you can play with offline multiplayer you can play four players you can make your own levels so there's a lot of value there's a really good product for that and again there were no updates at the time of this video it just i feel like i'm trying to do everything i can to like this game but i can't ignore the flaws and it has to be judged fairly because other games get judged harshly by just simple little mistakes and flaws in their games so this game has to be judged harshly just the same as every other and that's how we do it here no biasness at all in judgment so in the end a good disappointment it's still a good product no updates still well, well worth to get on your shelf and it still ran jar pretty darn gone pretty darn good completely offline so in the end my point my views my opinions are irrelevant this is still a good product to have on your shelf so again thank you all so much for watching i will try to leave links down in the description if you're interested in copy and i'll see you all on the 9x unboxing video Bye bye